So Microsoft throw their hat in the ring of reasoning models. Now these are new open weighted reasoning models, this Phi 4 family. Now the Phi 4 was originally released by Microsoft a couple of months ago, but they've just now released reasoning model versions, including tiny little reasoning models. Now, if like me, you were thinking, doesn't Microsoft own ChatGPT? No, they have a 49% stake in OpenAI, but they do have their own line of models, specifically these fee models. So this is our Phi, sorry, well, whatever it's called. Basically this here is the Phi family. Now, the brand new models they released are the reasoning models of the Phi 4, and as, Phi 5, 4, firm. and as you can see here with the Phi 4, basically it covers everything with an MIT license, which basically means you can use it, do whatever you want, sell it, doesn't matter. Basically, it's completely open source, well, open weights, which isn't open source, but as you can see, it works for language coding, vision, audio, function calling, advanced reasoning, um, just not mixture of experts. Um, which is interesting, but they do have a 3.5 one for that. So uh, basically today what we're going to do is, this one's supposed to be really good at coding, and we can see it on Open Router here. As you can see from here, you can get it on Azure AI Foundry, Hugging Face, GitHub, but also you can get it on Open Router, and that's what we're going to be using today, because it's completely free on Open Router here. And we're going to chat away to it, and we're also going to pull it and plug it into VS Code, build it a couple of websites, and see how we get on. So first things first, what is it? What are all the models and what's happening? So I actually did use Manus originally to get a website for this to kind of look through it properly, but plus is really difficult to understand. So I just went back to ChatGPT. And we have here the Phi 4 family. So the standard one, 14 billion parameters, which is pretty tiny, uh, mainly focuses in reasoning, uh, well not reasoning, but mainly focuses in math, science and coding. Blah, 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 right? So now they've brought out the reasoning uh, chunk here, as you can see, and we'll check how they compare to DeepSeek, etc. Because the, they're impressive compared to like DeepSeek, but not compared to the non-open-weighted uh, models, which is, you know, it's pretty obvious why, but basically if the model's open weight and everyone can use it, those models seem to not be the best. Anyway, so... We have 5.4 reasoning, so enhancement, supervised fine tuning on curated teachable prompts. Basically, it just becomes better at reasoning problems, so problems which require a lot about thinking or a lot about breaking them down. We have the reasoning plus, which is reinforced learning with math focused problems. So, reasoning generally better for reasoning. The reasoning plus, which is the one we're going to be looking at today, as you can see here. Uh, additional reinforcement learning to boost accuracy of math, science, and coding. So, should be really quite good. We also have a mini one. So, this one's only 3.8 billion parameters, which is tiny. And if this is really good, this is the kind of one you could draw on your own computer, like a normal computer, which is really cool. And then multimodal as well, so it can process a bunch of different stuff. So, anyway, enough talking. Let's go and have a look. Actually, I suppose let's first look at how does it compare to other models. So if we look here, we have uh, a bunch of models it's comparing to. So the first one here, we have the Phi, Phi, Phi 4 <laughs> um, compared to DeepSeek and then ChatGPT. And as you can see on all of these here, it's not as good as O3 Mini. But it is better than the O1 Mini on almost everything, or I think on everything. And it's better than DeepSeek um, on on most things as well. So as you can see, we have the green is the 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 phi four, um, but yeah. So it's, it's really quite, oh, it's actually beating it at maths, beating all three minute maths, which is cool. But then ChatGPT have all four mini high. So, but anyway, as you can see, it generally is pretty good. And there's there's more comparisons here, as you can see, um, against ChatGPT, and it's actually really right up there with the all three mini. Which I'm actually really impressed about. But the thing again is that it's not comparing apples to apples because if you go into like ChatGPT and see O3 Mini is just advanced reasoning, O4 Mini High is really for coding, and then you have 4.5, etc. So is it apples to apples? Not really. But anyway, so let's go in here, chat, and we'll just ask something normal 9.99, 11, which one is larger. Generally, models back in the day would always get this wrong. So let's see how much thinking does it require. Holy moly. That's so much thinking, just for this tiny little answer. Wow, that is a massive proof. 
User asks 911, let's interpret it carefully. Alternatively, maybe it's a trick question. Nine equals nine point one, which is something's quoted because fractional equivalence. Blah blah blah. Hmm. Zero point nine, therefore nine point nine is larger than nine point one one. Which I mean it is true, but that is loads of reply. Let me see what that looks like just normally on chat GPT. Because I feel like it doesn't give anyone near that bad. There you go. Boom. For four O, but let's see what's comparing itself to O three. Let's do the same here. Too much thinking, I suppose it doesn't really show its thinking, which is a bit of a nightmare. But um Still, that's yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> um, well, anyway, let's uh, go and pull it into VS Code, and we'll see. It can I actually code some stuff. So, in VS Code here, I'm using Ruby Code. Ruby Code is an extension of VS Code, and basically, you just plug in your your model. So we have Open Router, the API key, and the fee for reasoning plus, which is free. We'll just save that and go done. And basically, here now, I just type stuff in change it to code or architect or whatever, and then it'll create that website, which is pretty cool. I have more detail about how to use it inside of the school community, which is where we're going to get our prompt for today's test. So, we're in the school community, let's go to classrooms, and from here we're going to go to the prompt base. Inside the prompt base, we're going to grab a website. So, let's start with something like a da -da -da -da, stylish link in bio social profile so we'll copy that and we'll paste this prompt in here bam and we'll see how it works so <laughs> we are fee why does it start with we are fee anyway the users request blah 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 we need to produce single html that's up just goes up just goes up just goes up up just goes up why is it producing that is crazy why is it just found itself in like an infinite loop of creating a code snippet what is going on what is going on this is mental it just keeps doing it um let me go and see if it does that inside the chat room too we'll paste the same thing in here and let's see and for reference we'll go back and show you the model but basically in the model oh no there you go it starts right now whereas here it's just like infinite looped itself that's interesting that is interesting. Um, I don't know, it still looks in here. Wait, is it done? Oh, my screen's frozen. I can't move it. Hmm. What's going on here, man? Some of these dodgy, dodgy new models. Right, um, I'll produce code, blah, blah, blah. Uh, da, 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 da. Give me an a one -er. Although we'll see, actually, this might be a one -er. We just can't. can't I'll produce code that below is complete. Yeah, right. So we'll just copy this. We'll go single page HTML in here. So we'll cancel that because that's just gone on forever. I think it's maybe just still thinking. <laughs> Who knows, man? X dot HTML. Bam. And then we can create from here an HTML. Is this going to run super slow because this is stuck? Let's quit VS Code because that's crazy. I can't believe it just broke my computer. That's mental. Well, anyway, let's reopen it back up. Oh. It has well and truly broken my computer. <laughs> thanks, um, thanks, Microsoft. <sighs> Always been a Microsoft fan. VS Code. Let me pop this back open again. And from here, we'll go new file index.html, from here paste that in, save it, and then if we open up the terminal, oh, I can't remember the control shift tab or something, and then open, we'll do index.html, and I'll open it in here, and boom, as you can see, that looks absolutely horrendous, <laughs> that looks so bad, like comparatively, if we copy this prompt, and we go to something like Gemini, so AI Studio, and we'll because here we can use Gemini for free. We'll paste that in Gemini Pro Preview. Let's just send that in. And then we'll do the same in ChatGPT, just with even with the O3 model, because that's what it's comparing itself to. Paste that in here. We'll go back AI Studio to see how's the thinking going here. It's not thinking anywhere near as much. An interesting thing to be fair on the Open router, uh website page 
whatever you want to call it for here, is it says basically it's going to take ages. So it only transforming architecture, but generates longer, more comprehensive outputs structured into step-by-step -step reasoning, trace, and final answer. Improved, blah, blah, blah. Its responses are typically 50% longer, result resulting in higher latency and cost if you're running this. So sure, this is free, right? But someone's footing the bill for the electricity that's getting run, etc. right? The hosting. So let's uh, see AI Studio. So we can see Gemini. Let's refresh this. There's Gemini's. Looks 100 times better. Um, and then let's see ChatGPT, how they get on. Let's preview it here. But I mean, ChatGPT is so much better. Yeah, so that's a 1-0 one, one to non... Oh, it looks worse now, but still. That's, um yeah, rubbish from, from this perspective. Let's instead then, let's make a game. We'll see if it can use a bit of maths and try and figure out a bit more of game stuff. So, interestingly, Gravity and Bounce Physics Demo, I had done this for the DeepSeek Prover model, and I was actually really quite impressed because often models get gravity wrong, so they don't, like, basically this prompt will get it to bounce a ball, and often they don't, AIs don't get the physics of the ball continuing to bounce, it just bounces once and then boom, stops. So it'll be interesting to see if it can resolve itself with that problem. So let me send that one in. We'll try it again in here in Ruko and see what it does. Because it should work. Rucode works perfectly fine with, with other models. So we'll see if it's a, a quirk of this model. So we are asked. So this system doesn't tell me we are fine. Wow, that is a lot of thinking it's doing. But we can search that at the bounce. Factor is greater than zero. Factor is greater than zero. We can simulate the bounce. So I feel like, again, it's caught in some infinite loop of, like, thinking so maybe it's the way that the underlying agent i think it may be a lang chain agent is uh using this here but again i think it's just completely broken my computer yeah it's completely broken that that's crazy although oh my gosh that's um still thinking about it and going crazy in here as well versus if we go to ai studio boom that'll be done let's uh, download that we can just open it straight up here there we go, see the one bounce. Um, this, I actually often get this network error normally if I have search on. Um, let's try that again. That is interesting. Um, let me see if you can also, three is not defined. Hmm. Well, we'll see how that goes, but let's go back and see. Fire, bit in a simulation starting, but it's still thinking. So I know it says like 50% longer responses, but I don't know what they're comparing it to, because like this is ChatGPT, eh, sorry, this is um, from here down. This is the response from Gemini, right? Pretty chunky as far as normal responses go, but like absolutely nothing compared to this 5-4 response. Like look at that, that's absolutely mental. How would it ever get anything done? Don't want to be a Microsoft hater, but like, this is absolutely mind blowingly bad. Um, how it operates, like whether its response is any good, doesn't even matter at this point. Like this is just operating so poorly. Um, and then ChatGPT is just dying on me. Probably all my bandwidth is is you just try to stream this text. Um, <laughs> let's try it with ChatGPT and another another one here. I mean, it should be able to get it easy. I've just seen AI Studio got it sorted super fast, so um, not impressed. It's not impressed at all so far. Also not impressed with ChatGPT um, doing this. I mean, this is still thinking. Is it in an infinite loop? We'll just grab a little bit. Let gravity equals no. So it's not in an infinite loop. Well, it might be in some sort of infinite loop. Let me see. No. Hmm, perhaps to the following. Yeah, no, so it's not it's not in an infinite loop. It's just thinking forever. Yeah, that's absolutely nuts. Um we'll wait until ChatGPT actually finishes writing the code and then we'll see how theirs theirs goes. If you see my other videos you'll know what to expect of ChatGPT here. Um but 
anyway, if you're interested in keeping up with the latest in AI, you know, and you want to basically learn from zero how to use AI, you want to make sure your gaps are filled in your knowledge, and you want to stay up to date with the latest tools, and you want to make workflows to automate your own work, for example, newsletters or something like that, YouTube videos, chat with YouTube videos, uh, database agent, etc. And here you can go and you will get the workflows that you can download and run them straight away on NAN, as well as a community of like-minded individuals, entrepreneurs, etc. all using AI. Then head on over to Apply the AI with first link in the description below. Um, yeah, and join. Come along, chat away. You can always talk to me. I'm always around. So let's preview this. Cannot be previewed. So I mean, O3 is broken that. Phi has um, timed out, I think. It's probably run out of context window. So there you go, there you have it. Phi for reasoning plus. It sucks as far as I'm concerned. This is still going on. Um, if you liked the video, like the video, subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next one. Hopefully, the next model of review is actually good.